This is the black pot, aka Kukushunamo. And here we speak truth to power. Next story. What does it say? Fake bay leave fingered in Kusibwatin's court case. Who is Kusibwatin? Who is Kusibwatin? Reverend Kusibwatin. That's him. This man is based in Kumasi. He has a church there. He's a prophet. He's able to tell the future. He has raised other people in Zimbabwe and some other places who are also rich. In fact, to some people, he's more a businessman than a man of God. But for me, I never knew him until I went to Zimbabwe. And then some men of God that I knew started asking of him, Makandiwa, Angel Yuzbet, and the rest of them. They were all asking of him. And boom, I got to know about him. And then a few years down the line, his criminal mind has been unlocked. You know why? He has a dual identity. Dual identity. He is Kwabena something. And at the same time, Victor Kusi Boateng. And if the two of them even had the same date of birth, we would have said, oh, well, maybe in Ghana. Well, you have the home name and you have the official name. But two dates of birth. As if that was not enough. Two different mothers. Hey! And he uses both. Allegedly, he's been able to register eight different companies in the last few moments with the two different names each. So under Reverend Kusibu he has eight companies registered recently. Under Kwabena something, the other name with a different date of birth, he has eight companies because his president is in power. This is the man who is supposed to be the secretary of the demonic cathedral, the trustees board. He's the secretary. They paid some monies into his account. And Reverend Joyce Ayi came out and told us that, oh, he lent us some money. We needed some money to borrow to finish some work in the cathedral and blah, blah, blah. He borrowed, lent us the money. He lent you the money. But when investigators went into it, Ablakwa and his colleagues, they realized that there was nothing like that. It was rather the government that paid money into his dubious accounts. Now they came back trying to give excuses again. As for Reverend Joyce Ayi, I don't know how many people will listen to her again. She has tainted the credibility with a salt and light church, whatever it is. But the matter is in court. And we all saw Ablakwa kicking some court documents on the floor, allegedly. And Victor Kusibwaten, instead of going to court, to go and try and find out how he can defend himself, he's rather gone to court to ask the court to jail Ablakwa for stepping on the court papers. The Sakura-headed man there, well, they are both Sakura-headed. The one with the shiny one on the left holding his chin. That is Samuel Okujato Ablakwa, MP for North Town. In fact, he's done a yeoman's job with his oversight duties of parliament. Went deep into this man's history and uprooted a lot of rot. Some of these men of God are criminals, you know. In the days of Ni Ama Olenu, they would go to jail for 16 years. But he rather went to court. Asking the court to jail Ablakwa for stepping on the court papers. Why did Ablakwa step on the papers? He said that they did not present the documents to him properly as a member of parliament. Today they went to court. Come, let's look at it. Come here. Kusib Watin served me court papers with fake bay leaf. Fake bay leaf. Member of Parliament for North Town, Samuel Okujato Ablakwa, has told an Accra High Court that he was recently served court papers by a fake bailiff. 
The papers in question were a restraining order and a defamation suit by Kobna Edu Jemfi. That's the second name. Alias Victor Kusi Buatin, secretary to the board of trustees of the National Cathedral. A black cross allegations were contained in an 85-page document opposing a contempt suit Edu Jemfi brought against the lawmaker for rejecting service of the two suits and disrespecting the court by kicking the documents. So you see, he's of going to court to defend your two ghost identities. No. He rather went to court and said, jail this man because he was stepping on court papers. A man of God. I thought Jesus Christ said when they slap you on the right, you turn the left and give them to give another one. I thought the Bible said forgive 77 times, 7 times. No, this time is grace time, so we don't forgive. We ship. He went to court, asking the court to jail Ablaqua. Not even to punish him, jail him. So that he can't talk anymore. In Ablaqua's uh, uh, filings for the case, uh, his lawyers, sorry at law, attached an exhibit that contained an application for such report seeking information on the bailiff who served a black the papers earlier this month. The court's registry confirmed that Edu Jemfi had indeed instituted the two applications served on a black on 1st and 3rd of February. It gave the name of the bailiff. So bailiff is one L. You see it? Those of you who are students of English, is one L. So check it out. I gave, it gave the name of the bailiff who served the application on Ablaqua as Ellis Ama. But answered no to a question about whether Ellis was a bailiff of the judicial service. There was no further explanation as to why a bailiff outside the judicial service had been given purpose to serve on the respondent. A black was lawyers who referred to a recent order by the chief justice asking that only certified bailiffs be dispatched to work on service of applications. Mm -mm -mm. You can make a meaning out of that, right? The contempt hearing started, starts today. February 21, with uh, Ablaqua expressing readiness to go to jail if need be, dash it away. So, Victor Kusi Boateng, a.k.a. Edu Jemfi, Kwabna Edu Jemfi, come here. Kwabna Edu Jemfi, my brother, my sister, is so desperate to see Ablaqua in jail. Court papers, there's a simple way of serving an MP. Go to the Parliament House. See the Speaker of Parliament. Go through that protocol. And he will be saved. He didn't. A black one went to a radio station. Sat down there. And when he did his job and was going away. A certain fake bailiff approached him. And then he gave him the papers. A black one knows his job. He threw the paper away and said, you must be joking. Who hired that fake bailiff? Was the man of God so desperate to see a black one in jail that he couldn't wait? Is this a true man of God? I don't like to judge, especially these days. He might be a true man of God. But the problem is that he is corrupting his anointing. He is corrupting his office. And some people follow blindly. They will follow you even to hell. If the man of God is derailing, be good enough to tell them that man of God, things have changed. This is the black pot. A.K.A. Kukushunamo. Black pot. Kukushunamo.